Today, we're gonna to be going over how to get rid of your carpal tunnel-like syndromes like numbness tingling in your hands, a wrist pain, or even decrease in strength. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dr. Ken from Trio Health Chiropractic. And if you are like many, working on the computer, laptop with wrist pain, or even numbness tingling from repetitive movements like rotation or pounding, then this is gonna be the best video for you because we're gonna go over two steps that helps to get rid of your carpal tunnel syndrome. For this first exercise, we're gonna need a spoon. Now, the spoon matters, so let me explain a little bit. We're gonna use a regular spoon, but however, this spoon is a little bit thicker than most spoons. Now, the sharper it is, the more it's probably gonna be a little bit more sensitive on your skin or on your muscles. So a little bit of a thicker spoon is actually going to be the best to help scrape or massage your wrist flexors. Now, the reason why we work on the wrist flexors is because of that nerve that runs down, that gives you that numbness tingling or the decrease in grip strength is getting entrapped or clamped down by these muscles. And so by working on the muscles, it gives space for that nerve to breathe and therefore your strength comes back, that numbness tingling goes away and in fact your pain goes away. So let me teach you how to use a spoon to massage these wrist flexors. What we're going to need is that one spoon. We're going to use massage cream. Now this massage cream, this is a professional grade massage cream but you don't need this type of massage. You can use body lotion, coconut oil, any type of lotion and we're just going to rub this right along our entire forearm this entire, and don't forget this inside. Most people forget this inside forearm, which is one of the biggest culprits. Now we're gonna get the back end of the spoon, the thicker side, and we're just gonna go up and down very lightly. What we're doing is we're just checking where the area we should be working on. Now, when we do this, it's important that we go up and down along the forearm because we wanna follow the muscle fibers of our wrist flexors. Now again, we're going right here and you can see it gets a little bit red, which is okay. Now I feel a big old lump right there. So this is the area that we're gonna work on for myself. For you, it might be here, it might be here. So as we scan, we're gonna just look for that big lump. Now as we find that lump, keep this spoon at a 45 degree angle and you're gonna slowly press in and make shorter movements going up and down. Again, we wanna stay along the muscle fiber and that's why we're going straight up and down. When we do this, we can even get on this inside and this, you can feel the grittiness here. And we're gonna do this for anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. So up to one whole minute. You wanna go nice and firm but only to what you can handle. Now, if you're living on the edge and you want to take this a little bit more deeper or more aggressive, now we're gonna use this back end side, which is gonna be a smaller area and do the same thing. And now I feel it going even more deeper because the point is smaller. You can use this side or if you want to be a little bit adventurous, you can even use the spoon side because it has that curvature, that angle, and do the same thing. And you're gonna just dig right in. And boy, oh boy, is it getting red? And I can feel it. Now you might notice that these areas are a little bit sensitive as you use the sharper edge. Now, if that's too much, go back to this thicker area and scan and do the same thing. Now, when you combine this massage technique with this next exercise, it's gonna be the most effective way to get rid of your carpal tunnel. This is the second part on how to fix carpal tunnel-like syndrome. Now, we're going to be doing an easy stretch that you can do at home. What we're gonna need is a table or a stool or something a little bit taller where you can put your hands on. Now, for this stretch, it's very important that your palms stay flat on the ground. Now, we're gonna take the affected side, this will be my right side, and again, our palms shouldn't come up like this, but we wanna keep it down. Now, when we do this, our bodies might have to come forward because this wrist flexor is so tight. When we do this stretch, now I already feel this 
stretch right in this region and that might be okay. Now we'll hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds. Now as we hold, if you wanna take it to the next level, I'm gonna have you rotate or lean to the left and right. Now again, make sure that you keep this palm flat on the table or any surface that you're using. Now as I lean left and right, you're gonna feel different fibers stretching along the different wrist flexors. That's gonna stretch out a different side versus when I stretch on that side, I'm gonna feel it more over here. Now you can rock and again, 15 to 30 seconds, you will do this and hold this at the comfort that you can handle. Now again, if you wanna take this to the next level, then we're gonna lean our bodies back Try to keep that palm still flat on the ground and I'll lean back and same thing, rock left and right. And you're gonna feel a very deep stretch along these wrist flexors. And that again, 15 to 30 seconds. And keep again, this palm on flat on the table surface or whatever place that you're using. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.